You'd think that yesterday was not a very fun day for Herschel Walker and his campaign team. So he went on Fox News the day after. He was interviewed by Brian Kilmeade. This was today. And he's going to be asked about the allegations brought forward by his son, who essentially is calling Herschel Walker a liar, claims that he's an individual who has lived his life destroying other lives. He's not raising his children. And he's just overall a liar. He's a phony. This whole I'm a moral Christian facade is just that. It's not actually real. So Brian Kilmeade is going to ask Herschel Walker to respond to Christian Walker's video specifically. And as you're going to see, Herschel Walker does not want to address the substance here. Take a look. Uh, here's what your son surprised a lot of us. Uh, because he's been so he's had tweeted uh, positive things for you. He's an influencer, a conservative. Uh, and this is what he came out and said after this revelation and your appearance with Sean. Listen. My intention is don't lie about your life at the expense of me, my mom, and all of the people that you've affected throughout your life. You don't get to pretend you're some moral family guy. You don't get to pretend all these things. Talk policy. Talk normal. Do not lie. So he saw that and says, you're lying, Herschel. What do you say about your son? Is he telling the truth? Well, I love my son unconditionally, and I, that's where I've always been. I always love him unconditionally. You know, he graduated college uh, a couple of months ago. He's now a young man doing his own thing, but his father's always there for him. I always will be for any, any of my kids, and I love him. I always support him. And I always have support in them, and I always will, and I love them unconditionally. But he's doing uh, tremendous damage to you by coming out with those statements. Do you know why he's saying this? Well, the damage he's doing is letting people know that the left will do whatever they can to win the seat. And I told you when I got in this race, I'm going to win this seat. People see someone sitting here in front of you right now that's been redeemed, and I want America to know I'm living proof that you can make mistakes and get up and keep going forward, but you can only do it in this country right here, and you can only do it if we get this election read, correct this come November, because we vote for the people on the left, like the guy running against Senator Warnock, you're not going to have a chance to be redeemed. He's a minister, and he's don't believe, he don't believe in redemption. Right now, they're trying to destroy right. America. They're trying to destroy Georgia, and I'm not going to let them happen. It ain't going to happen on my watch. And he went on to tweet, he said, I stayed silent as the atrocities committed against my mom was down. I stayed out that my father, Herschel Walker, had all these random kids across the country, none of whom he raised. What do you say to that? Well, what I say to that is just what I said. I love him unconditionally. I wrote about everything in my book. People can read the book. I wrote about it. I bared my whole soul out in the book. I was forgiven. The Lord has forgiven me. Like I said, I'm a Christian. I will always be a Christian. That's the reason I got into this race, because I see things that are going wrong that's not right in this country. They're trying to separate us. They're trying to divide us. Well, I want to bring people together. That's the way I've always been. I don't care who you are and whether you have fallen down, I'm telling you can get up. I'm telling you that you can have success if you're willing to admit your problem right. and get up and keep going forward. But they want, to, they want to take this seat away. They need this seat here in Georgia. And I'm telling everyone out there, and I, I'm not trying to promote anything here. You got to go to TeamHersher.com. Let's keep this seat. Right. I can promise you I'm going to win this seat. So, Herschel, you're saying that you weren't the perfect dad or the perfect spouse, but you've been redeemed. Is that what you're saying? Oh, that's exactly what I'm saying. I, no one is perfect. And, you know, I even said at a, at a meeting, I'm a sinner. We all sin before the glory of God. But every day I get up in the morning, I pray to God to let me do his will. And that's the reason I'm in this race right now. When I see people getting hurt on the street, the crime that's going on right now, the crime is going on because of Senator Warnock and Joe Biden. I see the crime going on. It seems like nobody want to hold anyone accountable for. I said, not on my watch. I see the way this economy is. And they saying we're not in. It's, it's OK. Well, it's not. This is a this is a new normal. Well, it's not. And I want people out there to know it's not a new normal. And if I told them if I had to fight alone, I'm willing to fight. I love America. I will fight for America. I'll fight for Georgia. And that's the reason I got into this race. Okay, so my thoughts immediately are twofold. First and foremost, he was definitely coached and his team made sure that he had memorized what they wanted him to say, how they wanted him to respond to these questions that they knew he would be asked. Second of all, 
um, he was still very insufferable because as you saw, we didn't really get a straight answer. Now, the first thing that I want to point out is you might think that this is actual journalism from Fox News because Brian Kilmeade was asking tough questions, but simultaneously, they were priming the audience to think of Herschel Walker in a more positive light. Look at the loop that they played at the beginning where Christian Walker was hugging Herschel Walker. They looped that like three different times. This was deliberate. They were trying to get you to think subconsciously that Herschel Walker is a loving father because here he is with his son. Seems like the love is mutual there. So they're trying to get you at least at the beginning to side with Herschel Walker as he answers these questions. Now, to say that he answered these questions would be a misstatement because he didn't answer any question. So Brian Kilmeade asked him four different times about Christian Walker's video, about his tweets, and he did not answer. So the first time, he responded by saying, I love my son. The second time, he responded by saying, um, so remember, Kilmeade asked, he's damaging your campaign. Herschel Walker said, well, the damage he's doing is letting the left know they'll do anything they can to win this seat. Just pause for a moment and marinate on that statement there. The damage that my son is doing to my campaign is letting the left know that they'll do anything that they can to win this seat. You're not even pretending to answer the question. You're just, it's like if you ask me, hey, Mike, what do you want to eat? Well, what I want to eat is, you know, a good life where I'm able to work a job with a living way. It, you're just, you're, you're answering your own question, right? <laughs> you're not even trying. Uh, third time, he uh, is not going to answer. Instead, he's going to plug his, bo his book. I wrote about everything in my book. Absolutely shameless. And in the final time he was asked, Brian Kilmeade framed it in a more charitable way to Herschel Walker, less aggressive. Not necessarily a good question because this is what we call leading the witness here. But he claimed that, you know, he's been redeemed. And he's admitting that, sure, he had some bad moments in his past, but he's moved on from that. Jesus has forgiven him. The problem with that is it's believable only insofar as we don't know about these other allegations that you've denied. The abortion story dropped this week, and you're claiming that you did not pay for your ex-girlfriend's abortion. So did you or did you not do it? Because if you admitted that you did indeed do that, but you think that that was wrong, then that's a different story. If you're actually agreeing with Christian Walker that you've ruined the lives of your children and your exes, then, okay, maybe this whole redemption arc is more believable. But you're not doing that. So, to say, oh, well, I've been forgiven when you're still not confessing to the things that you're being accused of here, that's the problem. So, the question is, do Christians see through Herschel Walker? And the answer is, uh, no, if anything, this is going to help him. I kid you not. So, on the day when the Daily Beast broke the abortion story. As Mediaite reports, Herschel Walker had a record-breaking fundraising day, I kid you not. As David Drucker of DC Examiner explains, Walker raised $182,000, including $50,000 during his Sean Hannity interview on Fox News. So if we lived in a reasonable world, in a reasonable country with reasonable and logical people, you would think that after seeing how Herschel Walker is lying about his pro-life stance, he's a hypocrite, they might think, mm, maybe I don't want to support him because he's a baby killer. They believe that abortion is murder, so why would they support someone who committed an act of murder? He paid for this murder, according to them. Isn't he a co-conspirator here? Directly involved. But no, they flock to him, and they think, nope, I've just got to support him even more. Now, let's be a little bit more charitable to them for a second. What if they just saw the abortion story, they didn't believe it, but yet they didn't hear about Christian Walker's claims? Well, they still don't believe Christian Walker, and they're still siding with Herschel Walker, evidenced by this photo of pro-lifers praying with Herschel Walker this morning at First Baptist Church in Atlanta. They were asking God to give Herschel his armor to shield him from his own son's truth bombs, and that kind of tells you everything that you need to know. Herschel Walker can do anything, and they either won't believe it, or they'll brush it aside claiming, well, you know, he's changed. This is absolutely um, predictable for Christians in the United States of America, and it's culty. And if you don't think that that photo was culty enough, 
Let's watch the video of it. Amen. This is the fight of his life, holy yes, God. Yes, yes. Amen. And we call forth your ministering angels yes, and yes, 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 yes. and we ask you to rebuke the devil. Amen. 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 Satan will not get the victory. Yes. And we know whatever the results of this election, Herschel wins. Yes. 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 Because we are more than conquerors than yes. him who loved us. Yes. And so we thank you that we can support our fellow conqueror, yes. our yes. brother, yes. our friend, yes. the one that we are praying for today. We lift up his wife, Julie. Yes. 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 We pray for your protection and edge around oh. her. Yes. We know that her heart is sensitive to all of these attacks yes. Yes. and all of the things the yes. enemy will dredge up and throw against them. We commit them to your safekeeping yes. and even today when the media has been circling this property mm. trying to sneak into this area <laughs> just to feed the tabloids and the headlines yes. dear god we rise above the sludge yes. and sludge yes. and yes. And yes. Jesus we place our feet on solid ground yes. that's right we are standing on holy ground yes, yes. and you are our defender yes. Listen, I need Christians to understand that this is not normal behavior. This is mental illness. And rather than feeding into your delusions of grandeur, you need to seek help. I get it. I was raised in the church. But at some point, I grew up. And as I matured, my beliefs did too. I stopped believing in Santa Claus. I stopped believing in the Tooth Fairy. And logically, I also stopped believing in God because magic is not real. I live in the real world, and all of these folks need to live in the real world too. But they're all in unison praying to the sky, and they're doing so at the behest of this terrible person who they want to win an election as if god was real and he created the universe he'd give a single fuck about this senate race in georgia wouldn't he be caring about a genocide that's going on on some alien planet in a distant galaxy why would he care about herschel walker's senate race why would he side with republicans just think it through a little bit so this is this is not normal i just need you to be clear you can pray to yourself and that's still bizarre but this is even more bizarre it's like bizarreness odd behavior magnified on a mass scale and just because a lot of people do this doesn't mean that it's any less culty just because it's common doesn't mean it's not culty this is by definition cult behavior and it really explains why they will never abandon Republicans like Herschel Walker, even if they know that he's a hypocrite on issues like abortion. It's because they're all intertwined in this little cult. And if you're in that in-group, if you're a cult member, then you can do no wrong by definition. And when it comes to Christian Walker and how Herschel Walker's supporters are responding to that, well, as Patriot Takes shared, at least this Herschel Walker supporter is calling Christian Walker part of the fake news media. Christian Walker is his son. Christian Walker is a Republican. Why on earth would he all of a sudden choose to become fake news media? Do you think that he was bribed by the left? I mean, he's already pretty wealthy to my understanding, right? He wears designer clothing. He grew up with a lot of money because of who his dad is. What amount of money would get Christian Walker to lie on his father's name and essentially imp like blow up his own grift? Like this is a right wing grifter. Why would he flip on a dime like that? Because you got a paycheck from, I don't know, George Soros or whoever they want to speculate paid him off. This is like just one anecdote, but I think that it speaks to a broader issue with Republicans. They are immune to the truth. They have this bubble and they won't let facts and logic and data and even reason penetrate that bubble. Now, again, I talked about this yesterday. The bad news about this story is that as absurd as the situation is, as bad of a candidate as Herschel Walker is, he can still win. Although the good news, according to Real Clear Politics, is that Raphael Warnock is still leading by an average of 3.8 percentage points. But it'd be unwise to count Herschel Walker out just yet, because Cook still does classify this race as a toss-up, and I think for good reason. So we don't know what's going to happen. Herschel Walker can still win, and it's not going to be in spite of the hypocrisy. It's not going to be Christians coming out to support him, you know, despite his flaws. It's going to be because of his flaws. They don't necessarily view this in the way that you and I view this. They view this as an attack. This is spiritual warfare. They think that these are lies being lobbed at Herschel Walker. 
and his son is part of the smear attempt, even though that's his own flesh and blood, and he has everything to lose and nothing to gain by speaking out and condemning his own father. But because of these types of stories, it's not going to make Christians and Republicans distance themselves from these flawed candidates. The opposite happens every single time. This is the world that we're living in now. This kind of started to happen with Donald Trump, where the Access Hollywood tape came out. And you think at that point that evangelicals would be turned off by this presidential candidate saying grab women by the P word. P word. I sound like Ben Shapiro, by the way, but, you know, trying not to curse on the channel. Um, and no, that wasn't the end of it. So this is the world that we live in where people who claim to be moral authorities who judge everyone else, who want to take away civil rights from other people, will absolutely never, ever be introspective and never judge their own as harshly as they judge others. This is the reality that we live in now, unfortunately, where a lot of people don't live in reality, and they're delusional, and they are in cults, but this is what we have to work with. How do we bring these people back to reality? I have no idea, but the first step to finding a solution is acknowledging that a problem exists. And this right here, this cult-like behavior that we're seeing with the GOP is absolutely a problem. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I don't talk like a politician. I built a successful chicken business. I don't talk like a politician.